One of the most uh, common questions I would imagine you get asked is uh, addressing people's fear, which is, what are the risks uh, involved in deep plane facelifts? Okay. Um, the biggest risk of having a facelift surgery is to have the inappropriate, inadequate facelift done by an inexperienced, poorly trained surgeon. Mm -hmm. So before you decide to have a facelift, you need to do some homework. So as a bare minimum, the surgeon that you choose should be a consultant. So it means that he should be on the specialist register with the General Medical Council. Mm -hmm. They should be a fellow of the one of the Royal College of Surgeons. Um, and then they should be uh, uh, expert in cosmetic surgery. Um, there are uh, national bodies uh, which uh, register for, uh, cosmetic surgery surgeons. Uh, there is a European body called as EAFPS, which is specifically dedicated to facial cosmetic surgery. So ask your surgeon whether he is a cosmetic surgeon, does he super specialize in facial cosmetic surgery or not. Um, you will get the best outcome from someone who is a super specialist in facial cosmetic surgery rather than someone whose 90 percent of workload is for example breast implant they will not have sufficient experience in and the day to do a, experience in doing a facial cosmetic work after you have done this homework go and meet the surgeon ask him the questions that you have Reflect whether you feel comfortable with the style of discussion with the surgeon. Does he appear honest or not? Are the pictures that he, sh he shows to you too good? Do they look photoshopped? Um, because remember, most of the surgeons are more busy with their surgical work rather than spending time on photoshopping their, uh, their pictures. So the f pictures should look realistic. You should feel comfortable talking about the uh, procedure. Uh, the surgeon should be able to answer your uh, questions and then come back and reflect on your experience. Go back with more questions on a second occasion. So first, uh, and there should be this bond you feel with your surgeon that you just not, it's not just about feeling comfortable, you should also have confidence after having a thorough discussion with the surgeon. It should never be the case that you speak to an uh, agent of a national chain rather than meeting the surgeon who would to the actual surgery. That is completely unacceptable for something as extensive as a facelift. Okay, um, so the bottom line is that facelift, a deep plane facelift done by an experienced expert in an appropriate patient is virtually risk free. Mm -hmm. But if you have an inadequate facelift done by an inexperienced, poorly trained surgeon, you will not get the outcome that you desire. Okay, so I understand. So we want to find a surgeon that's qualified. So say you, you didn't do that, you made the mistake, you, you, you mischose your surgeon. What, what could happen then? What are the risks? So the risks are that, uh, uh, broadly speaking, you will not get the result and the results will not last for long if you do not get a deep plane facelift. Um, furthermore, if, you, if someone tries to do a deep plane facelift without getting the appropriate training in it, you run the major risk of having damage to the nerve that supply mm -hmm. your face, what we call is a facial nerve. Mm -hmm. um, um, so these are the main risks if you do not have the correct surgery done by a well-qualified, experienced facial cosmetic mm -hmm. surgeon. Okay, and, and when we say damage to facial nerves, you could wind up with... Yep, you can, uh, if uh, any of the branches uh, of the facial nerve are damaged, then you can have a weakness or in fact paralysis of the face mm -hmm. in that part which can be temporary but very very rarely can be a permanent uh, side effect mm. okay okay so it's really important to choose choose the right surgeon absolutely right welcome to the british face clinic we understand that making decisions surrounding cosmetic surgery can be uh, difficult sometimes frustrating so we invite you to give us a call what we can do is discuss the many decisions surrounding the different options you have available to you, and we're happy to go through those with you to help you decide if we're the right choice for you. Please give us a call on the number below.